Hey everybody, just a quick reminder about a really cool feature which you can use to convert your audio into MIDI data. When we're using Flex Pitch, as I'm using right here with this background part, we can take this information and convert it into a MIDI track. So a few things that I've done here. First of all, when I was editing this originally, I have really turned down the vibrato so that they're more laser-like, really consistent. Doesn't sound like something you'd want really heavily used on a lead part, but for a background part, it can work like that. So let me play just a little bit of the song for you. Hey, hi, hello, my dearest darling. And so what I want to do is actually turn this part, this background vocal part. Let me solo this out for you so you can hear it. And I want to make it into an instrument instead of a vocal. Okay, so that's the source part. And the way we do this, we come into the edits, and down here at the bottom, we create MIDI track from flex pitch data. So let's go ahead and do that now. There we have our data. And what we want to do next, let's just verify a few things here with this. Let's make sure that it goes all the way through. There are the gaps there that really do match the actual flex pitch, which we could pull out. And you'll also see that these are matching the velocity as well. So it's a softer part, and so the MIDI data has a lower velocity. Let's come here to the beginning and just assign, let's do our retro synth. Let's solo this out for a moment so we can hear what it sounds like. So you can see, even though this was a relatively simple part, it's actually very accurate. Now, I've had mixed results in different situations. Part of what you have to do when you're doing this is really clean up your flex pitch data. Because sometimes, say we're looking at this right here, this data for the lead is not going to work quite as well because every time that there's a single note here that is broken into multiple parts, that's going to end up with three different MIDI notes. And so part of my process anyway when I'm cleaning up vocals is anything that's held onto a single note, I'm coming through and using my glue tool. And you'll see it pops way up there. That's just because it's doing a reading off of various things. And then we move it back down here, get it in the right place. And then that becomes a much better MIDI candidate for a conversion. Okay, so again, the steps have flex pitch on, get that data cleaned up, use the edit function, create MIDI track from flex pitch data, and then you actually can assign any instrument you want to it and replace that audio part, vocal part, whatever, as long as it's monophonic. You can't do things with chords, but anything that's a single note at a time, you can replace this way. Hope you're having a great week, and I will see you next week with some new videos.